It's reality. The warp bubble that will make humans travel faster than the speed of light is now possible. How did we defeat the speed of light? And how can we explore galaxies and black holes billions of light years away from this planet? Exploring the heavens has always been a dream for a long time. And though we have reached far away planets like Pluto, we haven't even left our solar system yet. There are billions of galaxies and unique objects that are unexplored due to large distances and limited human speed. Nobody can cross the speed of light, not even achieve it. If we try to achieve, our time will be slowed down and our mass will increase. The speed of light remains constant. However, this is a hurdle on the path to human exploration because the cosmos is vast. It takes more than five months to reach the closest planet, Mars, even with the most powerful rocket. Even if we do achieve the speed of light, we need 13 billion years to cover the entirety of the observable universe we've discovered, which is nothing less than impossible. So what is the solution? Is there any? The warp drive. Miguel Alcuberi was a physicist that first came up with the theory of the warp bubble. In 1994, Alcuberi was doing his PhD on Einstein's general theory of relativity, where heavy masses have the ability to curve space and time. Thrilled, Alcuberi did some calculations and found out a revolutionary idea. The idea was that if you compress space-time in front of a spacecraft, it would allow it to travel much larger distances in much shorter time, trapped in a bubble. However, Compressing space-time is far from reality. In order to do so, we need exotic matter that has negative gravity, which is just a theoretical concept. The search for such a matter remained a dream, until Eric Lentz, a physicist in the US, did some unusual mathematics on Alcuberi's article and realized that a torsion bubble can be created by ordinary matter. Yes. The warp bubble is possible without any fictitious matter. Although Lentz's model of warp bubble was much more practical, it still needed a lot of effort to actually create. But the story of the warp engine wasn't done yet. New research funded by DARPA has produced theoretical concepts resulting in enough energy and energy density distributions needed in Alcuberi's warp engine bubble. Moreover, Scientists conducting numerical analysis of the Casimir cavity have identified real manufacturable nanomicrostructures that can generate enough negative energy density possible to create warp drive in reality. Warp drive is reality. The energy requirements of Alcuberi's model was high. However, converting the design into chemical form reduced the required energy density and energy to a great extent. The researchers working on the Casimir cavity never really thought their findings would be a breakthrough and invent something out of a sci-fi movie that will reveal the darkest corners of our cosmos. Though there is still a long way to go before actually traveling through the warp engine, we are surely on the right track. Until we create a new warp bubble, watch this video. It will blow your mind.